Virgin Tele Tablet Review Design and Features Basically, it's a massive tablet that wants to be your TV. Its 14-inch screen is bigger than that of the TV I grew up playing video games on. The only bigger tablet we've seen is the 18-inch Samsung Galaxy View. A screen this big needs to be plenty sharp, and thankfully the IPS panel comes armed with a full HD resolution, 1920 by 1080 pixels. On the audio front Virgin has provided four speakers, positioned at the front and rear. The right edge has the usual power and volume buttons, while the left edge has all the connections. You get a 3.5mm headphone jack, a micro USB port, and two USB sockets that work with keyboards, mice and memory sticks. There's also a microSD card slot, in case you want to supplement the built-in 32GB of storage. Sadly that micro USB port is just for PC connection. For charging, you're stuck with a DC plug. I don't remember the last time I charged a portable device with a DC plug. At least the tablet has a whopping 12,060 mAh battery, which Virgin claims will last up to 8 hours in playback, or 3 days on standby. There is no rear camera. I'm fine with that, because I reckon you'd look ridiculous taking snaps with a slab this big. For video calls, there's a 5 megapixel front camera with autofocus. On the inside, there's an octa-core MediaTek processor and 3GB of RAM, along with dual-band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. The tablet runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow, a quick flick-through tells me it's not massively locked down in the way that many brands like to do. You get full access to the Google Play Store. Performance I can't say much about the tablet's performance just yet, given my limited hands-on time and the fact that it wasn't connected to a Virgin V6 box. The tablet can play video from other sources, but given this is a Virgin device I reckon it ought to be tested specifically playing recordings captured on a V6 and played back through the TV Anywhere app. That being said, the Tele tablet seemed responsive to swipes and touches, and the menu icons looked pretty sharp. I'll be reporting back next week once I've had a chance to see the Tele tablet running video and audio. Stay tuned.